Hello there guys. So today I'll be teaching you how to remove outliers in a data frame in R or in your data set. To begin this project, I shall import I shall import my data set. This is real data real life data set that I downloaded from Cargo. So after loading in my data set, let me just show you a snippet of how our data set looks like. So just right head then df you can see it is a diabetes data set that has so many variables pregnancies glucose blood pressure so i shall just subset the variables so that i can remain with the variables that will be useful for this project just to show you how you can remove outliers from your data set after running that i know you have remained with only two variables let us just check and see if you have remained with two variables as you can see here you have remained with the two variables only glucose and blood pressure after doing that i shall use the box plot to check if outliers exist in those two variables so to plot a box plot in r most of you just know is box plot then you write in the variables that you want to plot inside the box plot then the main this one is the title of a, of a box plot so complete, press control enter you can see the two box plots have appeared here one for, for one for glucose and another one for blood pressure if you check at the at the box plot this one is for for blood pressure because it was the first one and this one is for glucose because it was the second one if you check it you can see there are a lot of outliers in the blood pressure box plot you can see these ones are outliers this ones are outliers are those values that are built above this line here so this one are outliers this ones are outliers and there's one outlier here so in order to remove this outlier, I want to use the interquantile range method to remove these outliers. In order to do that, I shall just determine the quantiles. Most of you know that the interquartile range, you must calculate the interquartile range. And for you to find the interquartile range, you must take the, the 75th quartile minus the first the, the, the first quartile, the 25th quartile. So to do that, we determine the interquartile the quartiles so if you check this code check here, here below here you can see the 25th percentile the 25th quartile is 62 the 75th one is 80 so make sure you must you you see this this ones here this ones are very important as you're going to use them so after doing that let us determine the interquartile range to determine the interquartile range you just run this code iqr use the function iqr then you key in the the measures that you want to determine the interquartile range from so control enter then we, have, we see that the interquartile range of blood pressure is 18. After doing that, let us determine the upper bound. The upper bound. To determine the upper bound, you know you always take the 75th quartile, which was 80 here. Then you add it to 1.5 multiplied by the interquartile range. So we are allowing a deviation of 1.5 in our data set. So that, that's how we determine the upper bound. Just run it, then run the lower bound. So, in order to remove outliers, we shall not have values more than the upper bound, and we shall not have values less than the lower bound. So, that's what I'm trying to show here. You take the 75th percentile plus the standard deviation, the deviation that you are allowing your data to, to be in, and then you multiply it by the interquartile range. Interquartile range is this, this one that we have found here. So after doing that, let us omit the outliers from our dataset. It's not always recommended to delete outliers because you might get lost of valuable in information. But in some instances, it is important to omit those outliers. So let us now subset our, our data frame so that we can mend the values that do not have outliers. So if you can remember, our data, our data frame was called DF1. Let us now call the subsetted data frame DF1. So to do that, just run the code DF1. Let's now check the box plot of the blood pressure and see if the data has been has been outliers have been removed. So let me just talk about this function in a bit. The subset function takes in a variable x. In our case here, it's df. Then you write here your condition. These ones are conditions. You see here we have used the less than or equal to. So df dollar sign blood pressure. This dollar sign we're just calling the blood pressure in the in our, in, our, in our data frame we're just calling out the blood pressure variable so it should be greater than or equal to the lower band and 
the DF dollar sign blood pressure is be, it should be less than or equal to upper bound. So that's what I'm trying to mean here. So let's just plot this box plot and see if the outliers have been removed. If you plot it, this box plot, it's the blood pressure box plot. You can see that all the outliers have, re have been removed. Most of, most of the outliers have been removed. But we're remaining with this one and these outliers. So we can reduce the, the deviation that we can allow. Let us make it 1.4 and 1.4 let me just run run this both lines of code then let's just run the box put you can see now the outliers have been removed completely completely if you want to remove this one you can reduce the deviation that you allow or you can even remove this one manually so that is it guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to my youtube channel